Hey everybody, thanks for being here. Today we're traveling to Panama for some extreme light tackle action. First it's peacock bass in the Panama Canal, and then we're going to fish the salt in the Gulf of Cariki out of Paradise Fishing Lodge. Now if you like big fish on light tackle, eating topwater plugs in a beautiful location, then stay tuned. I'm Justin Wolf, and this is Angler West Television. Cadoon Lake, otherwise known as the Panama Canal, connects the Atlantic with the Pacific and has obvious economic and strategic importance. But it's also an incredible man-made natural environment. In 1914, as the first ship passed through what was once impenetrable mountainous jungle terrain, a new ecosystem was created which now supports a thriving bird, animal, and fish population, and also a daily parade of cargo ships. This is a flooded forest, or in other words, a fisherman's dream, the perfect bass lake. But in Katoon Lake, we have peacock bass. Today, we're with Wraith Herford, Rod Pack, Tom Amberson, and Doug Hayes for a day of peacock bass fishing, before leaving the next day for a saltwater fishing adventure out of Paradise Lodge. There he is. You got it, man. Go get it. Oh, nice one. Peacock bass in Panama, right there. <laughs> I can't believe he caught one on that. <laughs> there we go, there's a Panama peacock bass right there. That's a beautiful looking fish. Go up there and grow up a little bit. So we came out here, we're doing a little bit unorthodox, but we have a little top water popper here. And I threw a scent chamber on. We got a little bit of wind today. So I just added a, uh, an egg sinker just to get it out there a little bit. We're only about four inches under the surface and just doing a little jerky motion. And uh, it seems to be the effective thing happening today. Nice one. Oh, drag tag. Yeah. <laughs> that one pulled a little bit of drag that time. Gatoon's peacock bass are not trophy size, but they are plentiful and very powerful. If you like smallmouth bass fishing, you will like Gatoon Lake. These peacocks will respond to all kinds of lures and live bait is an option as well. But throwing small topwater plugs is probably the most fun way to go. It's best to start early in the morning, but as the sun rises, the fish will concentrate in the shade. Oh, oh, oh yeah. These fish took a little bit to bite for us today, but we found a pattern. We're throwing into the shade kind of here in the late uh, morning, and it's really producing. And you can just take a look around you. The scenery, the fishing, incredible. Yeah, buddy. Nice one. Mm -hmm. yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah, there's two followers on that fish, too. Two fish followers. After a day of fishing, it's customary to stop at Monkey Island to say hello to the resident white-faced monkeys, put there by a former owner of the island. A day at Katoon Lake is unforgettable, but for us, the more intense fishing is coming up in the next few days. They're big, they're orange, and they are mean. This thing's so big, I can hardly... Wow! Wow! After one more fun night at the very comfortable Veneto Hotel and Casino in Panama City, Wraith, Rod, Tom, and Doug board a short flight to the city of David in the Cariki region of Panama, and by early afternoon, arriving here at beautiful Paradise Lodge overlooking the Gulf of Cariki, known as the Jurassic Park of Big Fish. 
and one of the most beautiful places anyone could hope to go fishing. Early the next morning, we take a short, fun ride down to the lodge's dock, which is made easy by the construction of this concrete road through the mangroves, built one wheelbarrow full at a time over a seven-month period. The lodge's boats are fast and well-equipped, perfect for chasing down the wide variety of sport fish available, including tuna. Today, Tom and Doug are wanting to target inshore species, so we need bait. The local fishermen have some good live bait ready for us to go, so all we need to do is pay them. And today, beer and soda is as good as gold. We'll see you guys later, man. Gracias, thank you. Usually, though, you need to take the time to catch your own bait, which is a fun part of the experience especially going after the schooling bonita, which everything likes to eat from roosterfish and cabara snapper to giant black and blue marlin. And they really are fun to catch on light tackle. Here we go. After filling the tuna tubes and live well, we head to the inshore fishery, which is actually offshore, among the many beautiful islands that attract everything that likes to eat, including crocodiles. I'll hit him in the head. Welcome back to the Gulf of Kariki on the Pacific side of Panama. Doug Hayes and Tom Amberson are out for some of this area's famous inshore fishing. They've started off casting topwater plugs, which attract many species, such as this blue jack, and of course, rooster fish. For Panama, this rooster is a little on the small side, yeah. but still a tremendous fish yeah. on light tackle. On awesome, awesome. Especially if it's your first experience. It's my first Panama rooster fish. Another really fun option is to go deep with live or cut oh, bait. Getting ready to hammer in here in a second. A good plan might be to throw poppers early in the morning and then switch over right around lunchtime. Yeah, I'm on him tight. I can't even move him. Tighten down that drag. Like a big halibut. This time it's a cabara snapper. And where there's one, there's usually more. But within a few minutes of, you know, making some bait, we put some chunks down and here we are. Nice fish. Oh, I got one too, Tom. Look at that. Oh, double. Double. Oh. Color, color. Yeah, yeah. Color. Color. First five minutes of the day. This is what we pulled off the bottom. Just awesome, man. Oh, it was crazy. Look at that. There are a few places in the world where a double like this can be achieved. And it's a toss-up for which is a harder fighting fish. This one's going back Don in. and Tom have had hours of fun catching multiple exotic species such as big blue jacks, lots of mullet snapper, colorful hard fighting rock snapper, and of course, the prized amberjack, kubera snapper, and rooster fish. But now we've got a call on the radio that another Paradise Lodge boat has hooked up with a tuna. So now we're happy that we've chosen a lodge with fast boats set up for chasing down tuna. You don't want to be stuck in the back of some old cruiser sucking diesel fumes when the tuna are in town. The porpoise have led us to the tuna. Tom and Doug are hoping to draw a topwater strike while the deckhand sets a live bait. Catching yellowfin tuna on poppers is one of those ultimate thrills in fishing. But this time, the tuna wanted the bait. Wow, rip and drag. 
Okay. One more time. Usually I crank with my right hand. Feels kind of funny, but working out. So Tom has an extremely powerful yellowfin tuna hooked up on a spinning rod, and he's beginning to figure out that he's in for a real battle. Wow. And the fact that left-handed Tom is using the wrong hand for him really makes this an impressive battle. Oh, it's taking everything I got right now. That is a strong fish. Oh, heavy. That is a heavy fish. Mm. Hey, well, we, we've been hammering fish all day long and my arms are already wore out. He hooked into probably a 60, 70 pound tuna. I'm sure glad it's him and not me right now. <laughs> it's an awesome fish, man. Well, I'll tell you what, I've been watching Tom fight this fish for probably the last half hour, and man, is it making me thirsty. <laughs> mm. Good brother. Now, I can go home. Panama's have been epic to us. Took her on island. We're out here popper fishing. We put down a, a live bait. Next thing we know, we got hooked up. Saying it took almost an hour. It wasn't an hour to get to get to the boat. It was hands down the most brutal, painful battle I've ever had. But well worth it. Worth every moment of it. Stoked! Paradise is waiting for you. Contact me today for information on how to plan your own trip to Paradise Lodge or to join me on a hosted excursion. I can also help you get set up at the Veneta Hotel where in a couple of days you can go peacock bass fishing and explore beautiful Panama City. Visit the Veneto's website today at venetopanama.com and contact me directly for information on planning a trip of a lifetime to Panama. Welcome back to Paradise Lodge. I'm Justin Wolf, Doug Hayes, and Tom Amerson. So this is a big horse side jack right here. It's a beautiful fish. Wow! Wow! We're putting together a fantastic few days of fishing. Most brutal, painful battle I've ever had, but well worth it. And also enjoying the fruits of their labor. But also on this trip is Northern California fishing guide Wraith Herford and his friend Rod Panama Pack. Was this was it, it was trip of a lifetime. I mean, it, it, and we got two more days to go. It's unreal. Wraith is a striped bass fishing guru in Northern California, and he's thinking that the same mojo will work in Panama. Same thing we use in the Feather River. We're going to use today in Panama. But I really good luck on it yesterday. Something to do with the the pink and the spots. We used other ones just like it, didn't work as well. This one was the hot lure yesterday, so we're gonna really put it to work today. On this day, Wraith and Rod are not going to bother with live bait at all and just focus on the poppers. Everything seems to eat well and grow large here. And today, these fish are eating poppers with Procure Sardine Super Gel. Right there, I'm looking underneath the ball of bait and there's some medium-sized fish. You're starting at the top with the smaller fish and the medium-sized fish down at the bottom, big fish. They're following our bait. You can see them right right here. There's there's this fish all over right here. All right, big fish, big fish. Watch 
track, go through the rock. They're trying to go in the rock, so I gotta put a lot of pressure on this big fish. That's why we're here. Beautiful fish, all I could ask for. Great fight, strong, strongest fighting fish. Okay, what's what's going on? These fish, you gotta keep the bait moving and moving fast. If you see it moving, the fish are coming up behind it. You stop moving, the fish are gone. They want that bait running from them. If it's not running from them, you're not gonna get bit. Rooster. Big rooster. <laughs> Beautiful picture. Yeah. Greatest thing I've done. Welcome to Panama. Good fighting fish. Grayson Rod have been sticking with the topwater bite and having a great time catching all of the typical inshore species. All right, another fish down. Throwing topwater plugs is a lot of work, but well worth it because you never know what's going to happen on the next cast here in Paradise. I mean, have you seen paradise? <laughs> Look at this place. The beaches and the water. Unbelievable. Hey everybody, I hope you're enjoying today's show. You know, you might have noticed a couple of these blue llama glass rods in today's episode. Now, I took these specifically to Panama just for the peacock bass. These are a great topwater bass rod, perfect for throwing smaller plugs. Well, as you can see, Wraith and Rod are using them out in the salt water, which is not what I had intended them for, but boy, did this rod sure work for that. Now, if you want to check out a great rod at a reasonable price, then go to lambglass.com and look at the EXL 733C. I could not be more impressed with this rod. Welcome back to the Gulf of Kariki, Panama. I'm Justin Wolf. We're with Wraith Herford and Rod Pack, who are on a light tackle inshore fishing adventure out of Paradise Fishing Lodge. The numbers of fish and fish species found on these offshore islands is simply incredible. You're never in an area that doesn't look fishy, but of course, some areas just seem to give you a feeling that they hold the bigger fish. Big fish spot right here. We got, we got a triple hookup going, started with rod, then I hooked up, then the deck can, but they're big, they're orange, and they are mean. I don't, I don't know what they are. We've been fishing all day and we, we had some almost doubles, but these are three of the bigger fish of the day and, and they're big. Nice, nice. Very good day fishing. Get him off the bottom, Rodney. Break your line, buddy. Nice fish. 
but he hasn't came up for me to get a look at him yet. And I still see fish down there swimming around him. I need to come around, Rod. I'm coming towards you. Walk on back. Walk on back. Because we don't want to cross. Uh, he, the, the, the snapper go to the rock. You need a lot of pressure in the reel for no go down. Right there, lemon glass. Putting it to the test without a doubt. More drop. Oh, I, no? I use my thumb. I use my thumb. I use my thumb. He's trying to get me in the rocks. While Wraith has been using 50 pound braided line, it was about this time that I noticed just how light of line Rod was using. 20 pound key line fluorocarbon to be exact. That's great line, but talk about extreme light tackle sport fishing. <laughs> 20 pound test. And I don't know how big this fish is. It's gotta be 30 or 40, and it's giving me everything I've got. Color, I finally got color. Whew. Can't see what mine is yet. Okay, I, that's a big amberjack. It, it was everything I could do with this rod and reel. Right there. Good job, Captain. Good job, man. Dude, that was awesome. Whoa. Un chulo tan ahí chiquito, pique, se tanto para la verga. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, he's just barely in there. Oh. oh my god. What is that? Cubera snapper. Cubera snapper. Come on up here, buddy. Woo. I'm beat. <laughs> nice job. Good job, good job. All right. We're ready to go to the pool after ending the day with a triple like this. We're ready to go to the pool. Over 100 pounds of fish right here, easy. And the Paradise Lodge pool is the place to be after a day of fishing. And the food and lodging here is absolutely incredible. Almost as good as the sunsets. of Angler West TV. You know, it's only with the sponsor support that the show is made possible. So please thank them when you can. Now get out there and do some great fishing.